everybody, it's Carla, <clears throat> pardon me, and we are going to be messing around with salts, bath salts and pink salts, and I am having, <laughs> I just stirred up two cups of resin, almost, and my hand is like a, uh, cramping, so I have some bath salts, um, how well you can see them, but I don't want to get okay. I have this pink bath salt and these are literally salt with fragrance. It's just some cheap pink bath salt. And for the pink one, I'm going to be, I put in some pink glitter. Okay, so I put in pink glitter, and I put in some of my favorite, um, you know, I say it every time, the stuff that I got at Walmart that I cut into pieces. Because I'm making candle holders. Ripley, it's okay. It's okay, baby. Go lay down. Oh, poor baby. He just made a doo-doo right in my kitchen. That can wait, because the resin can't. <laughs> so, I am putting in... Whew, I might have to put a stop for a second. Wow. Uh, this is smelly. Okay. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to... Oh, now see, not, you're too far that way get you. Hopefully my sound is better. I have my microphone now up closer to my head. And uh, so yeah, so what I've put in here is the bath salt and the pink glitter and some of that shiny stuff. And I'm going to put it in this mold which is the bottom of a mushroom, but I like it a lot. All right, so I'm gonna put it in here. Because these are gonna be candle holders, so I want them to be, um, the light to go through them. So I want them to be, here, let me, let me do this. For these molds that you're trying to do a bowl, you can you can just like pinch it. See how I'm pinching it? And I'm just pushing in there. And let's see. Make sure you can see. And it's okay if if the the resin goes through mostly without a lot of um the, the rock salt in there. It's not rock salt, it's bath salt. which actually is salt and fragrance. So I never understood what those idiots were doing with bath salts before. Like they were like smoking them or something. It's like smoking salt. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, what the heck would be better? <laughs> I guess this is what they were talking about. I don't know. I really don't know. And I hope that this is going to be enough for this. Okay. It's very pretty, isn't it? With just the glitter and um, the confetti stuff. And the bath salts right out of the container. It's really pretty. Yeah, take it a break from Halloween. <laughs> of course, actually, this is more like fall art for me anyway, because I love the, um, I'm going to put a little more clear in this cup. I just think like everybody's all like springtime is romantic. I think fall is romantic. 
because that's when you have your candles going and you know your soft lighting your little fireplace you're wearing a sweater snuggling under a blanket even if you're just yourself you know you're not with somebody doing it it's just so nice spoil yourself a little bit I'm always saying be good to yourself and treat yourself kind of st okay stop 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 I got I don't know I don't know what that was it was just like a little brown chunk of something or other all right before I keep going on this let me get underneath here and give it some squishing squish 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 needs to be squished I sure hope this microphone is working better because I got the new And the only reason we're squishing it is because it's it's easier to get the bubbles out if you put your fingers because it's a bowl so it's hollow underneath there i can't turn it if i do this shirt will be a goner for sure for sure all right let me put some a little bit more in here and i think this one's done okay and i I'm going to set this pink aside. I have something I'm going to do with it, but i got to get moving here. Okay, so there's the pink one. Got lots of stuff and not a lot of space. Okay. The purple. The purple, I put uh, some of this purple holographic glitter in there. And, of course, some of the... They all have this, you know, the stuff I cut up from Walmart's Christmas aisle. There's my stick. Okay. And I'm going to stir this up. And I'm going to grab another used cup because I'm going to need more space to put the, the salt. Mm, this, this glitter might be too overpowering. Huh. Okay. So this cup's used, but that's okay. Yeah, I was getting this all ready, and I thought, okay, I've already got the resin mixed up, and I'm going to put it in the cups. And then I'm putting it in there, and I'm like, all right, now I need to get the rock salt. Wait a minute. <laughs> There's no space for it. Put that little pink cup over there, purple cup. Oh, this is still going to be translucent. Okay. And now I have this lag lilac. Bath salt. It's supposed to be lavender. It smells like uh, laundry powder. Now, you might ask, why are you doing this? <laughs> well, these bath salts are super inexpensive. They're like a dollar twenty-five dollar. You know, you can get them cheap, cheap, cheap. And um, it's just making my resin go further. Oh, I like the way that that glitter looks in here. I'm gonna put some more of this in this one. Oh, it looks really cool. Really cool. More, more, more. More, please. All right. I'm going to add a little bit more of the resin, the clear resin. You feel how this is doing? Good. Boy, the temperature dropped today. It was only 72 degrees. It's in the high 60s in here right now, so. Uh, gives me a little bit more working time. That's just so pretty, I just can't stop doing that. That one's going to go in here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Uh, this mold is always cockeyed, but that's okay. It's character. Actually, I could let this sit for a minute. 
so that the, the rocks go down. And let me see about... I need, uh, I need my butterfly. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm, let me have that stick. Wrigley, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm not mad. Not at all. Just busy. Just busy. Okay, get some in the little hooty hooters up there. And uh, I wish I had another one of these molds. This butterfly. I have those flat butterflies, but I really like this mold. It makes really cute um, candlelight holders. Really cute. All right. Just a little more rock. Alright, something right there. I don't know what that is. Who knows? I don't know what that is. Okay. I'm going to just put this into this cup. I'm going to transfer it over so that I can use this cup again or for the next color. Okay, now I'll set that over there, and space is at a premium right now. Okay, I already showed you that I put this purple in there. This pink can go back here, it can go there. The butterfly, slide on over. Okay, wipe this up. Sticky, 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 sticky. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna throw that in there. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this one up in here. This is the, um, it's got, oh, my hands are sticky. It's got this powder in it, because I didn't have any orange glitter. I might put more powder, but it has this Walmart glitter, the crystal diamond. Walmart clear. Okay, so I might have to add some more stuff to this because I didn't have um, orange glitter, but I have that glow in the dark orange powder. thinking about adding coloring to these um, you know like resin coloring I guess that would have been okay I don't know why I was thinking of the liquid might melt the salt but it won't it might <sighs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know let's see what we get here let's see what I need to add okay the glitter is beautiful I'm going to be adding the orangish, peachy looking to this. Uh, and because I'm going to be doing the peachy, I think I brought over a little bit of red. Oh, I need another wipe. I always get everything so mucked up. Oh, let me shake this red. This is, um, ugh. that's resin, bright red. I just want to put a little bit in here, kind of get a bit more of a peach. 
one drop to C to start. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's pretty. That's so pretty. Ooh. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. Get you out of the way. Now the salt, which this is rose scented, but it's kind of a peachy color. The other one is pink. This one is kind of peachy. And do I need to add more, more to it? More glitter or more of my confetti stuff? Confetti. I'll just add more confetti to it. Maybe I'll add a little. Oh, I already added extra to that one. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Okay, so I'll let this one sit while I get you out of the way now. There we go. And now this should. My, my whole point with letting this sit was letting the rocks go down more in the bottom so that the the, for the, the resin right now that's coming out and it's going to cover the bottom right now is going to, um, I think, have less bubbles, you know? I don't know. Because I, I feel like if the salt goes in there first, those big chunks, it might like not get down into all the corners. So real quick, I'm going to squish this one. And it's just pinching it really hard and then letting go and the suction brings it back down in there. Get in the corners. Okay. Now I will fill this up. This again is purple purple glitter, purple bath salt. Uh, let's resin resin, one to one ratio. So it's just the regular epoxy resin. And glitter. Oh, and the Christmas tree uh, tinsel that I cut. Takes so long to cut that. I have so much to cut. All right. That's looking good. The good thing I have to say is I don't do well with weird smells. And um, except for just opening the package, <laughs> it's not that bad, the smell. You know, it goes away as soon as it hits the, hits the resin. And now I'm going to stir this up. I think this needs some more resin. Let me test to see how my resin is doing. How's it doing? Fine. Oh, chocolate tortilla chips, zip ties and toast. Dang it. Oh. oh. I don't like hitting resin on me. I hate it as a matter of fact. So hard to get off. Okay, and so this is going to go into this one. Let me move you out of the way. And I have more resin. Clean that up. All right. Oop, put that there. All right, I'm not gonna, all right, I just put that resin in on top, so I actually don't want to stir it very much. I want more than anything for, like, just resin to come out, mostly resin. Got it 
doggy here. Oh, and uh, the reason I wasn't worried about getting the salt all the way to the top is this salt is all going to tend to go to the bottom anyway. You know, it's heavy and it's just going to get pulled to the bottom. Which is, when it's done and unmolded, is the top. just want to put a little more salt in there. That's right to the tippy 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 top. And put you over there. Okay, I have one more thing to do, and then I'm gonna work on my um, my little uh, hook on the pieces that I'm gonna hook on. Mm, where's my? Here it is. Oh, I need. To... Ooh, feels good. Just Oh, <laughs> that's so nice to get that sticky off the gloves. Oh, thank you, Miss Carl Marine Resin, for doing that. Oh, it's just been a lifesaver for me. It's now, yay, I love it. Okay, I also have some Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Bath Salt. This is 100% pink salt. Um, probably not for food. I don't know. Maybe it is for food. Maybe yes. Maybe no. I don't know. It's pure Himalayan natural salt, so it probably has a uh, a lot of uh, since it's for the bath. I don't think that they would be that picky about having like little bits of dirt, salt dirt, salt dirt. Salt? There's something weird about saying that. Okay. There we go. I see where it was. Okay. So, yep. See, this is just uh, salt range, bath salt, 100% naturally pure. I don't think this has any smell to it because it is pure Himalayan natural salt. Period. Certified. Boy, it's got a lot of certifications on it. Maybe. Actually, it's the WBM Foundation. Actually promotes a pollution-free environment. Ooh, on YouTube, huh? The, WM, the WBM Foundation. Oh, I want to check them out. Alright, so... I need... Another glass. I think I have one right here. Kind of the one that I used to mix some stuff up. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this in here. This is kind of a peachy color. I'm, I'm, I just need to set it down for a minute. I don't have any space right here. And get some more of this. All right. Uh, what, do I, what color should we do? Kind of thinking about trying out a gold just to see, especially because uh, it's for light, you know, candle holders. 
So I think the reflection and stuff looks really cool. Like the more reflection, the better. Okay, I can't get it open. <laughs> I can't get it open. Oh, let me see. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to add some of this. That's pretty. All right, and I'm going to add some of the Christmas stuff for sure. A lot. A lot, lot. Give this a stir and see what this looks like. Well, that's parts that's getting warm for some reason. I'm gonna go for some of my um, golden galaxy glitter from Walmart. Oh. Of course, I could also go with this blue with water test fest winter. <laughs> it's blue, and I'm going. It must be water. I'm just pretending like I can read. I'm just going to put a lot of glitter in there. This is for funsies. Okay. We pop this back where it belongs. We'll sort of over in the general area. Give this a stir. Oh yeah, this is going to be glitter, glitter, glitter. And salt, salt. Okay. Has some impurities in it. That's probably why it's a bath product and not a food product. Of course, probably has more minerals in it that way. All right. Oh, that's a lot of salt. All right. That's kind of brown, but that's okay. I got this. We put it in. Yeah, that's thick. Yeah, that's really, 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 really thick. I think I'm just going to actually just go straight here, pour a little bit of my resin in here. Because uh, all of this is going to go straight down into that. and then give it some squishes, move it around. And now, because this is um, a little bit more narrow and it's not open, oh, come on. Is it going to flash on me? Better not. Scoop at a time then. Scoop at a time. It's thick. <gasps> messy, messy, messy. Get it down in there. It looks pretty on the mold. In the cup, it looks kind of dirty, like root beer, <laughs> like a root beer slushy with edible gold. <sighs> All right. Mm. Just making sure I have it in the corners. Uh, 
And I'm going to give it some squishing because uh, I don't think it hardly has any over here on this side. We'll figure that out. That's so much of a mess. All right. I think I think it needs more on this side. Or maybe that's because I put some of the clear in there. I don't know. But I think I think I think it's it's good. Still looking kind of pale over there, but all right, that's fine. All right, I have another mold I want to do. This is an ashtray, but I never use it as an ashtray. I use it um, as a tray tray. A tray tray! <laughs> Not an ashtray tray tray. And then sometimes I put a clear bottom on it and then, you know, put little like fairies and I'll probably do that with this. I think it'll be really cute. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's just like dealing with cement instead of resin. This is interesting. Interesting. So I hope everybody's um, having a good day, or had a good day if you're just settling down. Go to sleep now. Hope everybody had a good day, and everybody's weather is starting to get just amazing. Ah, just amazing. California here in San Diego, we usually though have a period in October where we get Santa Santana winds and the Santanas for those of you that don't know probably most of you know are very 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 hot high high winds and that's when we have our fires here which I've been through a couple times especially when I used to live out in the country that's when I talk about when I had all my my birds and geese and emus and stuff yeah, that was all uh, when I was living out in the country. We had a huge fire out there. Huge fire. Halloween. <sighs> really bad. Really bad. Memory lane is sometimes a bumpy road to go down. Sometimes. It's making me think of my my friend, my daughter uh, had a friend in school and her mother and I both worked at Harris Casino for a while. I worked in the accounting department and she worked on the floor in a uh, the fire came the fire hadn't happened yet. It was just before, it was just before Halloween. She got in a fight with her husband, and they had been drinking or something. I'm not sure exactly, but got in a fight, and then uh, she got out of the car, and they had to go down this big dirt road to get home. And he told her get get it in, at least get in the back of the truck. So she sat on the tailgate in the back of the truck while they were going down this bumpy road, and she flew out and um, hit her head and ended up passing away. And then like a week later, it was Halloween and their home burned down. Can you even imagine that? Jasmine's friend was so sweet too. I loved her so much. I don't want to say anybody's names, but uh, yeah, she was super sweet girl. And I thought, oh my God, she, they just lost their mother and the husband, you know, and then the house burned to the ground. 
All right. See, I start talking and I stop working. I don't know. I, I think I need too much blood to go to my hands <laughs> when I got my mouth going. Oh, my hands are so sticky. I hate that feeling. And these gloves are too big, but I'm out of all my good size gloves. So. All right. I think I will fill up this with just a little bit of, should I use, oh, I forgot to put this glitter in there. Okay, I'll do it on this. No, don't do that. I need space. I need space. Mm -mm, good, 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 okay. I'm going to do two things real quick and then I'm going to fill stuff up. And, uh, whew. okay, I need a brush. Let me get a brush. Get you. I just happen to have the May Springs Chalcedony right here. I got the hiccups. <laughs> me and Otis. And I'm just going to do the moon real quick with this and the skull. Of this part. Okay. And then I'm going to grab, quickly grab, come on, come on, come on, let's go here. Here they are. Oh, some of the May Springs Golden Labradite, if I can get it open. And just put a real fine coat on. Oop, that's a lot. Okay, well, that's okay. It's very, these colors are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to dump that in there. Did I just do? Then I'm going to do this dragon in the gold. I'm hoping that these will be somewhat translucent too because I'm going to put stuff on top, uh, you know, glue stuff onto these jars like I did the other night. I'm just trying to see now like what else works with the salts. And I think I'm going to take some of this gold and drop it down in there. Put a little bit more of this in here. There, put a little bit more of the resin in there. And I'm going to plop some of that in here. Not too thick. Doesn't need to be filled up all the way. And I'm going to move you out of the way. Move you a little bit. Mm, I think this I think this one that oh, should be okay. This isn't that thick. I need to use this stuff up. Okay, dokie. I guess I'll start with. Oh, I think I'll start with this gold. Maybe put it right here in the middle. And 
Okay, let's get off my hand. Lots of orange. So, I will do the wings next to this and the orange. I'm going to push that back in so that the gold is now kind of trapped in there, like my hand is right now. I just dripped uh, resin on my pants. <sighs> Today I looked homeless with these pants with the resin on them and this shirt that I spilled the resin on, my, my hippie shirt. Had to go to the store, go grocery shopping, and I was thinking, I pretty much look like a homeless person right now. And uh, it was kind of odd, but yeah. Oh, no, you never know about people. You really cannot judge a book by this cover. You know? Especially these days. Oh my goodness. So many people are becoming unhoused. So many. Especially seniors. A lot of seniors becoming unhoused. Because when you only make, you know, between 700 and 2,000 a month, there's really not a lot of places you can rent to live. Even with a bunch of roommates, you know, it's still, because it goes up proportionately. So, I've always had a soft spot in my heart for, uh, people that are homeless. But then I'm also wise. My dad used to, he, he bought the house next door to his so that he could um, help homeless men. And so it was like, you know, like a halfway type house. Uh, and he had this guy living there. And he was a big guy and I was young. You know, I didn't live at home anymore, but cause I was in my early 20s. And he liked me, because every time I'd go visit my dad, he'd be talking to me and stuff. And then, uh, I wasn't there, but one day the FBI showed up at my dad's door looking for him. And he was wanted for murdering his parents and his girlfriend. Whoa. So I, I am wise to the fact that uh, you need to be careful around people you don't know. But then again, you could, your next door neighbor is, you know, could be just as crazy and kill somebody. That happens a lot. And everybody always goes, oh, they seemed nice. Sometimes somebody's truthful and goes, no, they're really weird. <laughs> it's weird. You're strange. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I don't know. I have a weird sense of humor. Okay. Oh, this is messy. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know I want it to be kind of the same. I feel like it needs some more color in it, though. Like, this is going to be kind of boring. I don't know. We'll see. I still have that pink. So I'm just going to start making one of these little butterflies too. Oh, you can't see the little butterfly, can you? Okay. I'm, I'm concentrating right now in case you wonder, like, why is she being so quiet? I don't know. I don't have anything to say at the moment. Oh, I do have this pink. Okay, let me have a little bit more of this. Woo! Caught it. 
Oh, it's starting to string a little bit. All right. <laughs> Let go. I am going to put some of this in here. Maybe, maybe mix it together a little bit with some of the orange. So it's more like an ombre than just a straight up. Yeah, be more like ombre looking. I just dropped more of this on my pants. I wish I had a washer. The things you miss when you don't have them are a stove, full size refrigerator. <laughs> and a dishwasher and a clothing washer those are the kind of things when you have them you just don't pay any attention when you don't have that stuff you're like oh, I miss it oh my gosh all right so oh I think this needs a little more color well, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here Okay. Oh. oh, this is so messy. Why is this so messy? My goodness. My goodness. This is just messy, messy. I think because it's clumping. You know, it's like on the stick and then it clumps off. The stuff just falls. Do I have any more purple? No, no more purple. No more pink. Just a little tiny bit right there. And I do have some. Ah! I do have some more of this for this part. Ooh. Don't know if it's gonna have tentacles or not. It's gonna have some gold right there. Some gold right over here. Is the last of the gold. You know, I could smush out some more. And I don't think any of this is going to matter. I don't think it's a high priority to get any of this like perfect. There might be enough for this. Maybe. All right, I want to put um, color in it. How about a little bit of, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? The orange and the pink and the purple. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, okay. I like that orange. I think I'm gonna do try to do this a little orange. I'll put a drop of red in here. Maybe two drops of red. It's the Let's Resin Dye. That's a really pretty color. That's a glitter. And I'm gonna put some of this orange color in here. That was way too much. Okay, well, <laughs> it glows in the dark. Oh, that was way too much. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, this is getting um, like taffy. Can you see what I'm doing? No. I'm just putting taffy on the cat. 
Yeah, this big old jug thing is hard to see through. For your ears, that should be all you can handle. That's more than you need. All right, you can get in the ears there. Go on, roll on in there. Okay. Hmm. doesn't need so much. Kind of want to try to keep the eyes and the nose clear. It took me forever yesterday to get the eyes out of one that I was playing with. All right, how are you doing? Also, I'd like to know if I were to make these items available um, in the, uh, you know, like below, like if I was to say like, you know, like, I don't know, like say I open an Etsy shop and make the items available that I'm making, you know, very, very reasonable. Um, are you guys... Is anybody interested in that? Um, I, I tend to get so over emotional about this stuff that I make. I'd like, oh, that's my new favorite thing. Uh, I'm like a little kid with more toys than she knows what to do with. So just let me know if anybody is interested and it would just pretty much be uh, what it cost me to ship it and um, you know, whatever my resin cost is pretty much, you know, to ship it the cheapest shipping possible. So if you don't mind uh, just letting me know um, in the comments or whatever, um, or using my email, if there was something that you saw me make and before that you really liked and, you know, we could, we could maybe figure something out that way. It's just an idea. Help me get some more money for resin. And then, um, because right now I don't, you know, I don't have any sponsors or anything like that. So a little bit of extra, to pay for the resin would be awesome because I just love doing it. And, and I'm just trying to find so many ways to really make it stretch. Just make it stretch needs a little bit more right there. Oh wow. This is like almost cured. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to take off my other glove and grab my isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl, but I just say isopropyl because then I can always remember. Give it a little spray spray. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. I love you. I'll be back tomorrow morning. My time. One second. Yours. Hello. 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 I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Everything is ready to demold except for this. This I'm going to clean off these little bubbles and then I might leave them on there. Then it would look like the raindrop effect. Oh, maybe I'll leave them. Yeah, I'm going to be putting a, a, a more another layer on here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. So that's not ready. Everything else is. And this is a really long video already. But look how many things there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's not twelve. Twelve things. Okay, so if you think that it's 12 things for an hour as opposed to one thing for 30 minutes, still doing pretty good. 
All right, so what shall we open first? This one, because I started to open it last night, and I thought, don't open it. Don't cheat. <laughs> don't cheat. This was, oh, you didn't even see me pour this, I don't think, because I think I skipped over it in the editing. Oh, man, that salt got stuck on there. Oh, but it's still smooth. I don't know how that got there. So there we go. <gasps> there is our tangerine heart. Um, needs some trimming back here, and I will do that. It's very smooth, though. It's kind of cute. It's kind of good size. It's one of those puppy heart things without the hoopy doop there. <laughs> Sorry. I'm drinking sparkling water. So you're going to hear me <laughs> burp. <laughs> hmm. Spilling sparkling water too. <laughs> okay. Let's just go with this. It's right here in front of me. It's the biggest thing. I'm gonna just pop this out of here. I think the colors on this are so cool. Well, on this side they look cool because they look watery. On this side that looks almost matte, doesn't it? Oh well, that's a. Not fabulous. That's okay. It's got the salt in it. You know, I used to sell gem, um, <laughs> gemstones. Oh, crummy sakes. You know, like amethyst and onyx and things like that because they have the vibrations. And so I'm wondering if the bit, the blah. Let me get this out. So I'm wondering if the salt is giving off vibrations because it's minerals. So, because you know they make the salt lamps. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about how do I make a salt lamp that I can use with like a light bulb so it warms up the salt, but then it would warm up the resin. So I don't know. Even though I feel like the salt in some way has changed the resin a little bit. Like it's like hard like a rock. Like a rock. All right, well that's one. Be silly, it's fun. These are like little secret messages under here. <laughs> I just realized, I didn't just realize that. I kind of did it on purpose. Let me get my little pieces of resin. I've got a, my little collection jar over here. Ugh. Well, this one came out so-so, so this one might not be much different. Let's see. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. And it is translucent, so we'll be able to... How do I make you help you see that? I don't know take my word for it. It's translucent. So it'll look cute hanging in a window. I got some overflow. It took me 20 minutes to clean up my mess from last night. Oh my goodness. It was absolutely horrendous. Horrendous. That salt makes it harder to clean off of the tile because it's just not great. Okay. Be kind. <laughs> I always believe in that. Be kind to people and animals and trees and bugs. Especially daddy long legs. Be really kind to them. They keep all the black widows out of your house. And, uh, somebody else could be kind to the black widows. I don't, they scare me. They really scare me. I like snakes, lizards, turtles, spiders, tarantulas, the black widow. I literally closed my children's resale shop uh, the week that I found a black widow crawling on um, my door when I came to open up. It was the size of a quarter. It literally, its little red dot on its tummy could have been a billboard. 
it was that big and I freaked out and I was just like nope I am not dealing with people's well, used things anymore I quit <laughs> I quit it was fun having the shop because I used to buy like children's clothing and then I would wash it and iron it and just bring it back to like this beautiful state where most people really didn't even realize that it was used clothing. It was it was very funny. They'd be like in there looking and they'd be like, oh, grabbing all this stuff because it was such good prices. And then all of a sudden they'd go, is this used? And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> That's a children's resale shop, folks. Okay. They'd still buy it. <laughs> they were just surprised. Okay. Cat. Okay. Smile can be a wonderful gift. Or gif. <laughs> Hold on, I can't take it. Hey, a giffle. Can be, a smile can be a wonderful giffle. Alright, I'm going to fix it. So now it says a smile can be a wonderful giffle instead of a gift. A gift and a giggle. A giffle. <laughs> Alright. You know, I highly suggest that if you are sitting at home and tucking to the daddy long legs in your bathroom or your shower or your kitchen or <laughs> and uh, you're feeling bad because you don't have anybody to talk to, not feeling bad, just feeling a little bit oddball, I highly suggest you start a YouTube channel. <laughs> give you somebody to talk to and um, you don't have to worry about like some little snotty person like looking at you like you got like spiders crawling out your nose because you can't see them so you don't know what anybody thinks you just be yourself talk And uh, it's more fun than therapy. Okay, here we go. Let's open this. Oh, I want to open the easy stuff first. <laughs> this is easy. I love this mold. I hope it came out. Yeah, it did. It always comes out so beautiful. I used the May Spring colors. Obviously, I was in a hurry and didn't get it completely on here. I guess you can't see that in camera. I could see here though that it's kind of um, more translucent there. Same on the side here. But I think this little thing with these May Spring colors, link below, because I do have a discount code if you like these, because they're not cheap. $20 for I think it's 100 grams total. I think each little package is 10 grams. You get like 10 packages. But the colors they are so intense. The mica, oh, really beautiful, beautiful colors. They're like 20 bucks, $22 now, I think. But you get a 10% coupon in there um, using my code. So, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? That just makes me so happy. So beautiful. Okay stop talking. Oh, this I already un unmolded because it was absolutely overfilled and it even had like salt rocks. And oh, yeah. This little skinny mold is probably not the best thing to pour salt into. And plus it's a matte mold. So maybe I'll put that over here with this so that when I add the extra to that I can do something so this is not matte. <laughs> I think sometimes I forget to breathe deep. That's why I put that on there. Okay, I'm taking it off screen because I gotta, oh here we go, it's popping out. And there we go. That alcohol helped a lot. It's all gonna be fine. That's very pretty. I like this a lot because 
I'm really happy actually with this. Really happy. Because usually all of the salt will come down and just like be clunk, salt, clunk, nothing. This actually, I think because the, the resin was getting so thick. And I think too, this is one of the ones that I put some of the clear down at the bottom. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. Oh, this is so pretty. Ooh, look at this, look at this. Ah. Look at this one. I'm going to turn this like this so we can kind of see how it will look at night. Oh my god, I love these things. Oh, this color is fabulously beautiful. Look at that. Wow. That's so pretty. Yeah, see if we can just get you off without giving you an alcohol bath. Ooh, it's so pretty. The thing is so amazing is I did uh, two cups of resin for all of this. No, not even two whole cups. Cup and a half. But by adding in the salt, I increased, I like doubled my, um, doubled what I could pour. See all this? It's just so pretty. You imagine that at night, it's just gonna, oh, so romantic. And see like the butterfly would go on this one too. Really sweet, really pretty. So would the cat. The cat would go on there too, but I don't wanna hide this beautiful purple. Okay, this pink, ooh. Oh, I am loving the bath salts. The Epsom salt, because it comes in those white little rectangular shapes. Yeah, I'm not real 100% on that because when they fall down, they don't look soft and pretty. They look white and um, out of place when they over. Come on. Okay. Ow. This edge is super sharp, by the way. Be careful. Um, this is a great project for beginners, I gotta tell you. This is, I don't think it's uh, difficult to do at all. You don't need a lot of anything, just some bath salts and a little bit of resin and a mold, some glitter. You know, stuff that you can find at the Dollar Tree, except for the resin and the mold. You can find your gloves and everything there too if you just want to try it. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me. <gasps> oh my. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to take a drink, but then I'm going to drink more seltzer water. <laughs> It's a um, pineapple orange flavor. All right. Okay. So, 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 so sorry. Uh, yeah. Just the stuff I made yesterday. It really needed some help. So I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to use super... Um, first, I'm going to put on the E6000. And then some super glue to help hold it on while this stuff sits gross there's just hair everywhere squishy 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 some u6000 out i can't get the lid off that one i have to cut a hole in it and just use it for one like last time Right, I'm gonna put some super glue on here. Come on. To just help hold it on while it Alright. Alright. 
so this should be good right now. It's really beautiful, really very beautiful. I think I need to though maybe set it against the skeleton, the scully for a while. Now I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to do this like this, like this, with a little bit of the, the things in there glued on like that. So I think that's going to be really pretty. And I still, still missed a, oh my goodness, this butterfly. I still missed some of this and it's easier to do this now. Sorry. Ugh. My goodness. Okay. So I'm going to put some E6000 on the tootsie, little tootsies back here. Okay, wait. I have to put it like this. And maybe right here. Right here. Right here. Super glue on here too. I'm running out of this. I want to put the super glue for sure on this part right here. Come on, come on. It's empty. All right, I'm gonna stick it on here like this. I'm gonna grab one of my little cleaner thingies. Clean up some of that glue. Okay. Got that glue around, didn't I? Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Okay. So let me hold this for a minute. Oh, and I can do my. chips. This is not going to work right. All right, I got to do it like this so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to set it like that. And then I'm going to put some more glue on here. Kind of hold it. Glue on there. And then use this to make that glue connect. Okay. So, I am going to try to hold this without shaking and shimmying and... Lid, please. Where's my lid? <laughs> There's the lid. Oop, I have my finger in there. That's not great. Alright, that's not good about the glue either. Where's my lid? To try some of this to see if it'll help it. Uh, I don't want to sit here and hold this because I have some little things I want to go through with you. A uh, little business to take care of. Come on, come on. Uh, get off. Because I don't want to sit here and hold this all day. I mean, I will. For art. Chocolate. Okay, I gotta get this back in here with one hand. And if I go like this and drive it around, got it. Woohoo! Wow, that was a miracle. All right, I got a couple things I gotta go over with you real quick. Ooh, I need a lid for that before it dries up. All right, when I did that video with this, uh, video number 49, the resin painting, that I painted this with the resin and the pigment and let it dry and then put the glitter behind it. I saw that on Crushing Art Studio and I put it in the description, but I don't think anybody even looks at my descriptions. No, some of you do because thank you again to those that are using the Amazon links. Uh, Cause like I said, I got my first $10. Took three months, but I got $10 <laughs> for using the link to do your shopping. So 
the person that I saw do the painting was the Crushing Art Studio. Okay, so I want to make sure they gave her a shout out. And then I also would like to give a shout out to Resin Nut. I really enjoy watching her. Um, she's just fun to watch. She's just very real. She's a real person and it doesn't feel convoluted or anything like that. I like her a lot. And then again, Coral Marine Resin. Thank you for the hand sanitizer with the glove thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have no idea what that has meant to my crafting career. Okay, oh, there's the lid. Okay, so now we've got the butterfly on there with the holographic side forward. I'm glad I got that part right. <laughs> and I think that's all I'm gonna do right now. Um, I do, oh, I did have this. I thought I might put this green butterfly on this orange one. I'm gonna do that really quick. Well, I've got a big mess going on here anyway. Put some of the 6,000 on here. And I guess I'll put some of this. <laughs> big fan. Mm, big, big fan. Actually, this stuff does work pretty darn good. I'm actually really surprised at how well this works. And I'm going to take this one and look real quick. Where's the biggest hole? There we go. And I'm going to... How do I want this? How do I want this? Let me look at the... I think I like it like a little bit off. I think like that. I'm going to do it like that today. All right. So... Uh, oh, I also finally, finally, I got some acrylic markers. Um, I'm going to put the link for these down in the description. These are from Amazon. I got 12 of them, and I think they were like $5, and they're dual tip. So the one side has a big tip. Oh, that's what she said. Jokes are coming into my head. This is the small side. So see, this is the, the red. And these are acrylic paint markers. And seriously, for $6 for 12 of them, it was such a good deal. And then see, there's also the really thick one that you could use to color in pretty easy. And it came with silver white gold black white wow, i'll see if i can get those out there for you can see for you can see sound like i'm editing the bible for you can see okay so here you go i just think they're such a good deal and i've been waiting to get some and even timu Nothing was under $10. I mean, it was like insane. It was too expensive. But they have silver, they have gold, they have the, the black and the white, which are the most important ones, I think. Silver, gold, black, and white. I love the double tips. So far, I've been using them a little bit, and I think they're really good. Really good. So I thought I'd share that because that's a really good buy very happy about that and the double tipped and the big thing yeah I'm very happy and they're permanent odorless UV resistant waterproof opaque water-based ink all right this oh, isn't this beautiful see look how pretty this is with the little candle going in it it's, it's, oh, let your freak flag fly. <laughs> and I mean freak in the funniest way. Like weird, let your weird flag fly. Okay, so this is beautiful. I think it's sliding off as I talk and swing my hands around. I love you guys so much. 
I will try to get, slip in a picture with the lights on tonight later. Cause, uh, got a couple hours till darkness. Um, okay, I'm back real quick just to show you what these look like lit. Hopefully they're going to come into focus here. Let me, uh, here's the one with the green. Um, I'm going to show them to you like this. Oh, so pretty. Whew. Okay, and then I'm going to real quick show you with the lights totally off. But here's the, here's the pink one. How beautiful is this? Seriously. So girly. It's so pretty. I'm so in love with that one. Ugh. This one too, though. The, the You'll see what the light shines through it really well. And then this one. Look what I did. Oops, I put two of them in there. I took that big butterfly. Excuse me, you all. Make room for the big one. I took that giant butterfly and I hooked it onto this one so that it sits like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'll put the butterflies all together and I'll put this one kind of all. So I'm going to turn off the light now so you can see. But this one these butterfly ones they knock me out this one's really beautiful this one is really really pretty um but the light coming through it's a little like well it is the moon right it does have a lot of pop marks all right so i'm going to turn this off so you can see the moon and try it there we go. There we go. Still a little hard to see, I think, but maybe that's a little better. I don't have a big setup like, you know, professional, but I think, oh, that's the reason I did another one, because so you could really see what was going on back here. Ah, isn't that pretty? See, I think this big one, actually, you could set like even two of these behind it like that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're just so pretty. All right. I know. It's quite a talking. But I just wanted you guys to see what they look like. And this one, I'm like super happy about. Super happy about this. And I'm going to put the gold on the butterflies' bodies. I just wanted to get this uploaded. It's Friday night. And I'm feeling all right. But anyway. Here's this and the butterflies. Oh my gosh. It's like so romantic, isn't it? Oh, they're so cute. So cute. Oh. I love the holograph. Okay, I'm in love with the pink one and then the big one and then this one and then the moon thing. But this is just beautiful. See like this. I don't think it needs the candle to me be part of the ambiance. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, I could just be like, they're just like that. And maybe not. Maybe it needs to be more like, more like where it's getting some of the light. Yeah. Oh, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I hope that you make some of these. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. We're almost to 400 and so as soon as we hit 400, we're going to start working on um, the giveaway for the 500. So yeah, I'm real excited about that. Probably in the next the way things are going, um, a month maybe I would have another hundred. Who knows? I don't even want to say that because maybe... Oh, I forgot. There's one right here. The red one. So anyway, these are the ones I got. And I will definitely put the link down there. And if you click on that link, I get 2.4% of that $5. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lucky person. And that what that means when people put that on their forehead? You're lucky. Fingers aren't working right. 
I love you guys. I will see you later.